Food in Hangzhou, I can tell you, for first-hand experience, is absolutely wonderful. Amazing produce, they've got some fantastic markets here. And the dumplings are to die for. Well-known Hangzhou cuisine from Zhejiang province. And quite the array as well. We have an array of talent on display here at the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals in uh, Hangzhou, China. And the court two now sees our fourth match get underway shortly in the men's doubles. Fajan Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto taking on Mohamed Shobibul, Shobibul Fikri and Bagas Molana. An all Indonesia affair, this one. These are your two groups. Got the World Championship final replay coming up after this as well. So first up though, it's the Indonesian derby. Familiarity might be an interesting dynamic, of course. We've seen that already. We've had all Korean, we've had all Chinese, now all Indonesian. Finalianto have a good record against them. 5 to the lead, though the most recent meeting to the other pair. Vickery and Molana at the Denmark Open. Let's get to know our competitors a little better. Here's Fajar Alfian. Who is uh, 28 years of age from the major city of Bandung. 175 centimeters tall. Currently fifth in the world. And they were number one a year ago. Kind of lost their way a little bit. World Championships, they got a bronze in 2019 and a bronze last year as well. Asian Games, the home games, they got a silver 
in 2018. Asian Championships last year, they were bronze medalists. Here's Mohamed Rio now, to 27 years of age. She games have got a gold in 2017, and together they have won 10 titles, including the All England Open, the Malaysia Open, and this year, and the runners-up at the Career Open. Now, Norman Fikri. Quite the talent himself as well. Twenty-four years of age, also from Bundle, by the way. Ten to the world. This is their best ranking. Is his partner clearly having a bit of fun? Bagas Molana, 25 years of age, taller at uh, 182 centimeters, or six foot tall. They have won two titles together the Hyderabad Open and the All England. They have been runners up four times this year the All Your Masters, the Thailand Open. The Denmark Open recently and the French Open also very recently. They came into some good form in the last uh, few months in that sense. Lu Chanhui, the Chinese umpire here. <laughs> and Gunnar's Lisfelis of Latvia, the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my line. It's always interesting to see, isn't it, when one player One, pairing has two. an overall dominating record in the head-to-head. -head. But the most recent meeting has gone to the other player or pair. Molana, remember, ended up being uh, runners up. No! They won that one in three. Three, two. The only other time they beat them was their very first meeting in 2021. Oh! Seven There's a run of four three, straight wins four. for Alfred and Arianto. I'm a bit unstuck recently, I think, it's fair to say. So it's over. Four, a number of early exits at the Hong Kong Open, China Open, World Champs. That was a big surprise, wasn't it? The number one seeds there, uh, the top ranked pair, losing to. 21 ranked Yang Po Swan and Liu Jiu Hui. They were still number one up till the Hong Kong Open, where again they had a quick exit. So this 
That's their lowest ranking for some time. It's also at the Singapore Open and Malaysia Masters. The start there was much better for them. Just a bit slow to get to that one. Fikri. In that by Fickery. They've just broken a string. But he has to cut the strings there just so that the uh, racket doesn't warp. Because it's so tightly bound, those strings. Just in case you're wondering. Fikri and Malana, just looking, I feel, of the two, a little more settled. Oi. Definitely looking to snatch on that one, Alfian. Seven. Going right across, oh. Arianto is an uh, opponent there. Talking to uh, Chris Langridge, of course, uh, one of our commentators, a men's doubles Olympic medalist, bronze medal. He says quite often when you're playing an internal match like this, we've had that also earlier with the All China men's doubles match, the lower ranked pair quite often knows how to beat the higher ranked pair. It's a different kind of pressure, different kind of match. To what we're maybe normally used to. Oh. Well, all of a sudden they've kind of just looked a bit oh. better now, Alfin Ardiado. Look at their careers, Alfred uh, Radianto against fellow Indonesians. Alfred puts that away. Hey, hey, hey. They've beaten 25 Indonesians, lost to 19 of them. They've won. Six of the last seven that they lost the last one they played, but that was against this pair. Oh! Service number nine four. As for the uh, as for Fikri and Malana.
They've actually Ten. got a losing record against Seven Indonesians. Over. 11 wins Ten. and Nine. 12 defeats. But they won their last one against, happened to be against Alfred and Aliato. Has that clipped the line? Looks like it has. Fikri and Maulana trailing here. It's 11-9. <laughs> Alfred and Ardianto. That lead up to three now. Remember, they started quite slowly, Alpha and Ardianto. Slowly grown into this one. wasn't it? From Alfian. Oh. Uh, the gift that Seven keeps giving one. off these okay. serves. We've seen a number Seven. of these today. Interesting how that's been happening. Though, isn't it? With four. Can they build on this? Alfen and Ardianto. A big shout there, off and Ardianto. Move five clear. I think that might have been the longest rally we've had. Very 
tentative shot below there. So our friend only on to two wins this year. The Malaysia Open and the All England. One runner-up finish, the Korea Open, and three semi-final finishes. That was those are all at Super 750s. Hey. India Open, Japan Open, and Denmark Open. So they performed well at high-level tournaments. Vikri and Malana coming in. Uh, right at the bottom of the uh, eight. No tournament wins this year, but strong finishes in two 750s, the Denmark Open and the French Open. Uh, final in the Thailand Open and the All Your Masters. So four oh. finals and one semi-final semi appearance 11, at the Thailand Masters. Good for Alfred and Ardianto. What these two pairs have in common, of course, is winning the All England. I think we're winning it 2022. Well, Finn already entered this year. Again, the rally that's going long. Not playing a walking pace at the moment. And suddenly picked it up. <laughs> Some tired bodies out there. 18, Charles. I think that one just took by surprise that Ardianto shot. <laughs> 82 shots. That is a lot, generally, for men's doubles. These two. Gone off the boil. Off an Arianto looking to get more consistent. And uh, okay. Fikri and Maulana surge to the top eight. Vaulting over other strong Indonesian pairs, helped by two peaks this year when they made successive finals in Orléans and Bangkok, and then later in Denmark and France, as I said. That really helped them oh! just about get there. There's a challenge, haven't had one in a while. That's it. Successful. One 
13, 18. Okay. Yeah, shake of the head. I think there's a bit of frustration going on here at the moment. Six game points here game point for the Indonesians. Fourth game. First game won by Fajr Akiem and Muhammad. So they won this quite comfortably in the end off an Arianto. And you look at the uh, trajectory of how they've played in this particular game. I'll tell you about that more in the uh, start of the second game. Afanarianto win that first game quite comfortably. Second game, club all, play. Oh, oh, oh. Well, let's see if the change event makes any difference. I'll just go back to the trajectory of that match. It was really tight, and he was just exchanging of points right up until Offen and Arianto were 10-9 hey. up, and then actually really didn't look back. Seventeen points, which really made a big difference when it was nine all in that last game. Oh. Just gone wide. 
So it's over. It does feel the momentum One, is with them for two. now. in front. Oh. 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 A bit of a miss hit that one, it appeared. Oh. Seems uh, fairly bemused by it. Serves. It's happened a Three. lot today, I must say. Go! Oh! So it's over. Four. All. Nothing in it at the moment in this second game. Big leap for that jump smash, wasn't it? Oh, easy kill shot there. Six, five. Again, this has got a similar pattern, hasn't it? This time. Seven, five. See that previous game. Far too close. Eight, five. Not much that Morlana could do. Now the surge maybe is coming a little earlier now. Let's see <laughs> for Alfa and Radianto. <laughs> Some super five. quick points that we're seeing here at times. Eight, Just got to keep their cool, got to keep focused here. A bit long, yeah, it is. Six, nine. Important for Alana and Fickery.
Yeah, you've not got enough height on your lifts and clears, stuff like that. You've got to be careful because they will get capitalised on. Often, easy put away for him. So they're actually looking very good shape here in the interval. Alpha and Arianto even better than the previous game, which they ended up winning quite nicely. Alpha and Arianto, 11-6 up here in game two. Eleven six. Pray. I thought that might have been going out that earlier shot. Top six. Lead increases to six now. Problems abounding for Fikri and Maulana. And the other four stars are really six. cranking up here. Is that why? I think that's worth a challenge. Yeah, definitely worth a challenge. <laughs> Almost seemed a bit tentative, so maybe he's not so sure. But I would have thought, just looking at it, it might have been. Of course, uh, where I am and where he is, in proximity to that line, a huge difference. Well, it is certainly in. So that challenge is and unsuccessful. One turn we go. remaining. Service over with 7 13. Pray. Hey, hey, hey. Couple in a row, useful. Six point lead off in Ardianto. Out. So it's over. Hey, hey. Nine, 14. Oh, three in a row. This is much better for Fikir and Molana. They're far away, though. Oh! 
10, 14. The fault there, and they've suddenly really started to surge. Fikri and Molana, this is a good bit of timing for them. It looked so one-sided here in the second game until then. Brilliant. Well, they need to break that run. 15, 12. Just, as I said, when it looked like they were piling on that pressure, just started to look quite promising for them. Figure Molana, well... Half and Arianto have gone four up here. Still a potential for a twist in his tail. Got down well. That's out though. Remember, the lead was, uh, was uh, four points in a row. They won uh, six out of seven earlier. Oh, fan, uh, sorry, uh, Fikri and Malana. It's just tightened up towards the business end of this second game. At its peak, 17-14. It was a seven-point lead, 13-6. So, in other words, it was eight of the last 12 have gone figure in Molana's way. That's a very good bit of work from them, but uh, they've got to keep that intensity going. Still putting up some stiff resistance here. Fikri and Maulana.
pray. Tough old group, this one. You've got the. Hey! World champions as well oh! to contend with. Service and the. Uh, 16, 18. Runners up. That was emphatic, wasn't it? Still some fight in 19. this. Not giving up. Just the one point. Remember, they were leading by seven earlier. And that's a real credit to what Fikri and Molana have done in the last, uh, say, seven, eight minutes. As soon as I say that, of course, it becomes two match points for Alfred and Arianto. Two poor serves, one a piece. One match point saved. So maybe they've got their mojo back. They've beaten their compatriots here. Uh, it's affection from both. Good feelings. Nice to see. 15, A better performance in the second game from uh, Fikri and Molana. Especially to come back from such a big deficit when it looked to be extremely one-sided. They made it interesting in the second. There you go. Nice to see. Uh, what, well, you probably have a look at it now. All of them getting together for a photograph. And Alfa and Arianto get their first win under the belt. For the opening day. They had to work a bit harder in the second game. It really tightened up towards the end. And uh, the class of Alpha and Radiata saw them through. They beat uh, Mohammed Shohibul Fikri and Bagas Molana. 21 14, 21 19. They've done it in 41 minutes.
More men's doubles coming up here. It's Korea versus Denmark, a repeat of the World Championship final from just a few months ago. This is Can't Miss Badminton. Court two, men's doubles. 